with two of the actors from Peace, Love, Unity, Revenge. And if you guys could introduce yourselves and tell us a little bit about the film. Hi, I'm Sina Shannon. Um, I was the dancer in Peace, Love, Unity, and Revenge. Oh, so you were. <laughs> yeah, definitely you. I'm Stephen Elliott. I played Felix, and I was a lead actor. I had way too much fun. Great. And can you tell us a little bit about what you loved and what you hated about the process? Loving it was working with all the different actors and a lot of the crew. It was a lot of fun to do. A new experience for me as well. Uh, people were just, the actors were, were great along with, and we had a good time with everyone. Uh, a little of the things that could have been improved were the you know, crew getting along a little bit better. Yes. <laughs> it's, these types of productions are stressful. Yeah. and. If we can just talk about your scene for a moment. <laughs> How was that? Did you, I mean, did you have a little bit of, like, discomfort? Like, I kind of hope no one ever sees this. Or, I mean, where, no. I just, where was your head there? No, not at all. Not so at all? I'm You're very totally comfortable cool with it. Yeah, I'm very comfortable with my body, and um, I love it. It's, I'm comfortable with my body in, like, life. I don't know about, like, on camera, you know? Because there's one scene where, like, you, you run away, right? That, exactly. That's, you, you, like, run away in this little pair of underwear, and yeah. I'm like, oh, there goes her butt, you know? <laughs> I, I just, it was fantastic, you know? Thanks. And I actually thought, I don't know if it was intended to be comedic or what, but because it was a very serious scene in the film, you know, and then you're kind of, like, trotting off in the background, I'm like, you know, like, it was very, I had more than one emotion happening at the same time in that particular... <laughs> seen in the film. So, have you guys worked together before? We have in several projects, actually. In several yes. projects. So, and you like working together. Definitely. Yes. Very much so. Fantastic. Great scene partner here and a great friend. That's Absolutely. always wonderful, yes. isn't it? So, what can we look for from you guys next? Where are you going from here? I'm going to be in a project called Iron Mike coming out pretty soon about Mike Tyson. Really? I'm playing Michael Buffer, so let's get ready to rumble. That sounds fantastic. I, I love it. What aspect of Mike Tyson? Like the boxing? Uh, no, Mike, or the crazy? Six, or? Uh, six fights with Michael Spinks, back six fights with his divorce. Okay. And I will, that's pretty much what I know about it right now. And we'll be going out through six fights um, there and ending with Mike Tyson versus Michael Spinks. And I'll be in the ring saying, let's go to Rumble. That sounds fantastic. Oh, it really fun. does. And what about you? Well, I have like uh, lots of projects going on, mostly modeling. And. Um, Soon I'm gonna be on a show. Really? Yeah. I can't tell anything about it because so it's no still, details. Like, you'll just no details. You'll just I'm be there. Be on a show. Yeah. Like, okay. So um, when reality I, show. So when I see you, I'm be like, oh, yeah. that's what you told me. You know yeah. that one right there. <laughs> and I'm gonna call you. Are you sure you can't tell me anything? Are you sure? <laughs> Come on. No, it's not a gossip blog at all. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, I could tell you. Um, it has something to do with dancing. Okay. So that's all I and can And that only you. narrows it down slightly because there are several reality shows that have a lot to do with dancing. Exactly. So, so um, I will. It's going to be a surprise. So I look forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Thank you both for taking the time to meet with Thank me. Thank you so Thank much. You Thank much. you. I'm here with Marcus and Joe at the 48 Hour Film Challenge. No, it's not. It's the Action Film Challenge. Yeah, 30-day 30, 30 2013 Action Film Challenge. Perfect. Yeah. I'm glad you know what you're doing. <laughs> okay, can you tell us the title of your film? And yeah, this is my fourth year doing this challenge. I've done it from the beginning. Uh, this, this film that we did, uh, Joe, Joe is my um, crane operator, lighting director, <laughs> uh, DP. Uh, he did it all, you know. I, I'm the producer, director, co-writer. Um, the movie's called Peace, Love, Unity, Revenge. Um, it's an action film. Uh, we had 30 days to do it, like everyone else. Um, that was the one that's led with the Confucius quote, right? Yes. That was fantastic. Oh, thank you. I saw that, like, the second that came up on the screen, I'm like, this is going to be fun. I can't <laughs> wait. So. I hope you liked the movie. Did you like it? I absolutely did enjoy it. Did you feel like the response was warm in the theater for it? Because, yeah. I mean, I felt like the audience liked it. There was some clapping. I, I think that people liked it. Uh, I, I know that it works better than the previous ones that I've done. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm, I'm personally happy with it. Um, you know, there's there's maybe a few things I would like to, to change. We didn't get to do in the 30 days, but for the most part, it's like 95 percent there. Okay. I, I thought it was fun. I thought it was fabulous to watch. What can we look for from you guys in the future? And if you really are operating a crane, like I want to get that on film and see all of that and yeah. the outtakes. Like that would oh, be that would be the tons best part. Of outtakes, you should yeah. do like a blooper reel. Wouldn't we that have be fun? A lot of it on actually uh, Facebook right now. Yeah, Fantastic. Yeah, there's a blooper reel, um, and there's lots of unused footage that we didn't get a chance to cut into the film. Okay. 
unfortunately, there's a lot of crane shots that, you know, really nice shots we didn't get to yeah. cut into the film. Um, but maybe on a final cut, we will. And there's different reasons for that. That's I mean, a good idea. there's different reasons why, you know, sometimes you love a shot so much, you want to have it in there, but for whatever reason it doesn't work and you have to let it go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's but, a tough spot as a filmmaker to be like, I love this, but I just can't make it work. Exactly. Um, so, what's next? Another short, I think. Okay. Are you going to do more of the challenges or independently do the shorts? I mean, you know what? I would like to think I can come out on top with this one and actually win an award. Uh, and if so, then maybe I'll feel like my, my time with the challenge is done. If not, there'll be more of an impetus for me to actually do it again. Absolutely. It's too early for me to say. Okay. I, I mean, it's really, there's too many compromises, too many corners that have to be cut to make a film this way. Mm -hmm. there's, it's, it's, it's like you don't really have a chance to get the script right and you don't have a chance to cast it correctly, and there's so much that you don't really have a chance to do in pre-production that everything else suffers. So it's not really the best way to make a movie. It's, but, but that's the, the kind of the double-edged sword with it. On the positive end of it, it gets people together to help you make it, to, you know, to try to do it, like for the challenge. So, so you know, I'm able to, I was you know, able to make the film. We got it done. I mean, I, we, I, we pulled it together, and it came out better than probably had any, any right to. Yet, there were compromises made during the process that I wish we wouldn't have had to make, and we wouldn't have had to make them had we had more time to make the film. Right. Well, and that is the challenge. Like, I did, yeah. I did the, one of the 48-hour film challenges, and it was exactly the same thing. Like, if, we had, if we'd had a month to do just that, it would have turned out completely differently. Yeah, the 40-hour you know? thing to me, that's just a fun time. I mean, there's no hope that it's going to be, like, memorable, so... It was, <laughs> it was fun, but it was insane. You know yeah. what I mean? It was like none of us had slept for like the whole time by the time everything was said and done. And you know, you get to the point where you're just kind of like seeing colors and things. Exactly. Uh, but <laughs> it was it was the worst job I ever loved. You know what I mean? Like that sort of thing. Like it was totally fantastic. Um, so we'll check back with you after the award ceremony and see what your position is, you know? And maybe you can, you know, maybe you're like, okay, and we're done with this and we're moving on to the next great thing. Yeah, yeah well, okay. definitely. Yeah, we look forward to it. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you both. Yeah, great. Nice to meet you. Thank you.